cast light up the stage for its spectacle cost. So I'm gonna roll to see if it gets copied or if it gets returned to my hand. So here we go, it's on the stack, light up the stage. Five, yeah. so it goes back to my hand. Nothing yeah. happens, Cork has spoken. A little jerk. Hello everybody, my name is Carlos and this is Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. Something special for our CEDH viewers, we have our first Hooray! intro for CEDH. So without further ado, uh, check it out. One of the most fun things about Kingdoms and making these shows is being able to create something new. Now, I'm not an artist, but I do love working with artists and, and collaborating and being able to make things that I think will be interesting for all of you. The artist that has gone over and above for us here at Kingdoms, making our logo, all these intros, is Tom Giles. Check him out at gom underscore tiles on Instagram, and you can see more of his awesome work. We're excited to continue to work with him. The YouTube algorithm has been a little rough to us lately, so if you can interact with this video in any way, liking, subscribing, commenting down below, clicking on the notification bell. I know YouTubers talk about these things a lot, but it really does make a difference and we'd love to continue to be able to do this and that's an easy way for you to help us. Another way you can go the extra mile and make sure that we can keep growing is by joining our awesome community. You can check us out over at patreon.com slash kingdoms TV. You get access to our private Discord, looking for game channel, deck help, EDH budget league, game days, live events, extra giveaways, and much more. I hope to see you over there. For today's games of CDH, Jason is playing Rafine Scheming Seer, focused on a reanimator build into big haymakers like Elish Norn, Toxril, or Razaketh. He also has some doomsday piles into a Thoracal Consultation win. His starting hand includes Mana Confluence, Chrome Mox, Dothy Voidwalker, Dovin's Veto, Talisman of Hierarchy, Doomsday, and Elish Norn Grand Cenobite. John S. is playing Roko Cabaretti Caterer, which is a birthing pod deck looking to search up Dockside Extortionists or pieces of the Kiki Jiki combo. His starting hand includes Cavern of Souls, Dryad Arbor, Gemstone Caverns, Gaia's Cradle, Stomping Ground, Mox Diamond, and Fauna Shaman. Ben is playing Krark the Thumbless and Sakashima of a Thousand Faces. This is the Siskel and Ebert list by Stacked EDH, looking to get multiple triggers of Krark into an abstract amount of value and storm finish. His starting hand includes Bloodstained Mire, Command Tower, Phantasmal Image, Underworld Breach, Light Up the Stage, Storm Kiln Artist, with Mind's Desire Mulligan to the bottom. I am playing Tim to the Weaver and Kamal Heart of Croza, which is a win conless stacks deck looking to lock down the board and play valuable stacks pieces and creatures until Kamal can close out the game through combat damage. My starting hand includes Phyrexian Tower, Wooded Foothills, Mana Crypt, Mox Diamond, Nature's Claim, Dark Confidant, and Linvalis Keeper of Silence. Uh, Pre-game action. Oh! Little Jimmy Stones, Exile Stomping Ground. Untap, upkeep, draw, turn two apparently. Play a Mana Confluence. I, I guess so. I'm gonna Chrome Mox. I'm gonna exile uh, Dovin's Veto, is what I'm imprinting on a Chrome Mox. Do this correctly, hit myself for one, and I'm gonna tap them for both white mana, play a Talisman of Hierarchy. Sheesh. Uh, Mox Opal, tap them both for black, taking an additional one, and a Douthy Void Walker. What are you doing? Um, yeah. hopefully, hopefully casting a windfall, uh, <laughs> passing the turn. Uh, drop for turn, cast a Mox Diamond, and discard Cavern, and cast a Fauna Shaman and play a guy's cradle. <laughs> you know, my my turn one felt really good, but dang. A cavern's discarded to Mox. Exiled? Because it entered your graveyard. Oh, uh, you're the... <laughs> uh... Gotta get my stacks. Here we go, drop turn. I'm gonna go ahead and have a crazy first turn myself and just play command tower and pass. Draw for turn. We'll go for a uh, wooded foothills and... A mana crypt and a mox diamond. <laughs> Carlos over here. Uh, uh, Get out of here with your noise. I have to discard a land. I think 
I discard this forest. Exile it. Thank you. Crack this wooded foothills. Lose a life. All right. Well, how about a first turn? Lidvala. <laughs> What take that, that turn off? Take that, dot the idiot. Turns off just creatures? Yeah. Oh, that's fine. The spoiler in this deck is Douthy actually attacks. Cool. Because I need attack triggers in my Esper deck. Fast turn. I'm going to untap. I'm going to draw. This is a little more aggressive, I think, than your version. I'm going to tap my talisman for a white, and then these for the other colors that I would need. But I take one point of damage, and I'll cast my commander. Go to combat. Attack Douthy Voidwalker at Carlos. Luck. He, uh, we're getting there. We're getting I, there. I'm not uh, Connive trigger. So I draw a card, discard a card, and put a plus one plus one counter on target creature for each non land card discarded this turn. Or discarded this way. Sorry. So I do my draw. I'll discard an Elish Norn. And he'll get a plus one plus one counter. So he'll hit you for four. I'll do this now. I'm going to tap this guy for a blue, blue mana. Cast Brainstorm. I'm going to draw three cards. Then I'll put back these two on top of my library. And I'll play a Command Tower for turn. <laughs> Hit those land drops. And then I'll pass the turn. This hand got much sadder. Not only can I not discard this Dryad Arbor for turn, but I'm playing it. It does not tap for mana. <laughs> it lets Cradle. It gives you mana from Cradle. There you go. And I'll cast the Panharmonicon. Oh, man. That is not a bad turn to under a Linvala, okay? That's pretty solid. And I'll go ahead and attack Ben, too. We're yep. playing real CDH, guys. We're like, we're here, you know? We're not oh, like true. this this uh, budget grade channel now. I don't know. I'm going to post my list. It's pretty embarrassing. This well, at the least the, the, like have. our first turns have like show up more. So I'm just going to cast Kurark. Pass. Yeah. Um, yeah, evens, I'm safe. And Kingdoms betrayed me. Well, but this time it is a minus three life. I'll draw a card. Let's tap these four mana for Tim. I've got a I'll swing Linvala. Then I will send three at Benjamin. Yep. Timna trigger. I'll draw a card. There we go. Let's play that City of Brass instead. Never mind. I will be responsible and pass. Bro, just it's, it's like turn three. You don't have to be responsible. Untap. I'm going to draw. And then let's go white and one. I'll cast the Ranger Captain of Eos. Okay. I'm going to resolve his ETB. I get a search for an Esper Sentinel. Let's go to combat. I'm going to send my uh, four shadow coming at Carlos and one going at Ben. And I have two attackers, so I will connive twice. But there's going to be counters put on him on, on the Sphinx here. I just have to discard non-land cards. I'll discard. So you have to pick what's getting the counters potentially before you drop. I believe so. I'm targeting the Sphinx. Yeah, no, it's, it's just curious. Target attacking would... creature connives. Yeah, that's an important distinction. He, he connives two. And I'll discard a Cabal Ritual and Yawgmoth's Will. Oh, oh, oh. So it'll be three commander damage coming at you, Ben. Yeah, so I need to take two more then. I take four. And then four, four at you, Carlos. That's one counter. And I'll get the other one here in a second. And I'll play a tropical, or sorry, underground sea. You can tell which one, what, what dual land's my favorite. And then I'm going to cast an Esper Sentinel. And I'll pass the turn. I think I yeah. respond to the Esper. I'll take a damage for a green mana with the Esper on the stack and nature's yeah. claim the Panharmonica. Not hitting my artifact. An another day, another game getting proactively hated. Yeah, it's your go. Uh, drop it. Uh, I'm going to pass. <laughs> Tap and draw. All right. I'll play a land for turn. I will go to attack this. And I'm going to swing at John. You're going to trade? Took two. Okay. I'm going to tap one. Tap for a red. I'm going to cast light up the stage for its spectacle cost. Ah, uh, okay. Are you paying one for Esper Sentinel? No. So I'm going to roll to see if it gets copied or if it gets returned. So if it's for the rest of this game, even will copy and odd will return back to my hand. Sure. Is that okay? 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I get one roll. Here, so here we go. It's on the stack, right at the stage. You guys Sad see that? day. That's a five, right? Five. Yeah. So it goes back to my hand. Nothing yeah. happens. Uh, Quirk has spoken. A little jerk. All right. So I'm gonna keep, try it one more time. <laughs> I only could draw once. So sad. <laughs> yep. Okay. So hey, was, you know, like, you get two so of them. Exile four copy. cards. Yep. It's gonna copy. Copy goes on the stack on top, and so I will resolve the copy first. I'll exile two, the top two cards in my library. That was resolved, and then th this will resolve. Oh, sad. Uh, oh. Nope. Sad. I mean, I don't have mana. So, it, yeah, yeah, it says it says exile the top two cards of my library until the end of next turn. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can play. He already played Excellent. the land this turn, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he'll he'll definitely get it then. So I will go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and just cast or play the Chromox, and then these three, I'm just gonna leave in exile, and that's my turn. Kingdoms is good. I take three. I'll draw for turn. I'll play a Phyrexian Tower Whale. Let's send uh, Timna over at Ben for two. I'll take two. That'll be all. And post combat main, I'll lose one life. I gain the two total on draw card. All right, I will play, yeah, I'm gonna play Dark Confidant. Tap this mana. So I'm using a black and a colorless, two green and a colorless. I'm casting Eldritch Evolution, sacking the Dark Confidant as an additional cost. Are, are you going to pay one? Well, as part of my cost, I'm sacrificing this. Yeah, um, are you going to pay? Yeah, this is where we're those. paying taxes, right? For the... Uh, I oh, will pay very for true. it. Yeah. I think it's a really strong card. I think it's going to do some stuff. Ooh! So, Eidolon of Rhetoric. Now, what does that say? Can't draw more than one card? Can't cast more. Can't cast more than one spell. That's fine. And that'll be all. Untap. Draw. I'm gonna tap Chromox for a white. And a swords to plowshares, Eidolon of Rhetoric. Sure. Uh, you gain life to its one. power. What was that, John? The wrong one. What are you talking about? This is completely fine. Black, black, black. Paying two life. I'm gonna cast Doomsday. <laughs> Oh, uh, Doomsday. I get five cards. So you can bind for four, and the last card is... You just make sure to draw it somehow. Okay. And then I lose half my life rounded up. That puts me at 15, 16, 17. Order's going to be that. You are exiled library, right? Yeah. yeah. Search your library and graveyard for five cards and exile the rest. I'm going to go to combat. I get to connive four times. X equals four. You connive once or four. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. They're all going to go up then. Okay. I can draw four, and then I get to discard four, and they are all non-land cards. Uh, you take the damage, which is four, five, six, seven, plus 10, 11, 14. Post-combat, I'm going to cast Thassa's Oracle. I have uh, less than three cards in my library, so I win the game. Nice. Nice. Win, well, I really like how the Raffine deck plays. It's enjoyable to see CDH decks that can compete at high levels with Thassa's Consultation combo, but also has a backup package with some really big reanimation targets like this deck. Good work, Jason. For game two, John's starting hand includes Reflecting Pool, Spire Garden, Mox Diamond, Carpet of Flowers, Green Sun Zenith, Toski Bear of Secrets, and Emil the Bless Mulligan to the bottom. Jason's starting hand includes an Ancient Tomb, Underground Sea, Verdant Catacombs, Chrome Mox, Monic Consultation, Mystic Remora, and Razaketh the Foul Blooded. Ben's starting hand includes an Arid Mesa, River Glide Pathway, Scalding Tarm, Chrome Mox, Gamble, Cyclonic Rift, and Veyron Voice of Duality. My starting hand includes Viseju Who Endures, City of Brass, Windswept Heath, Deafening Silence, Deathrite Shaman, Enlightened Tutor, and Linvala Keeper of Silence. A draw for turn. I'm going to play a Air Garden. I'm going to cast a Mox Diamond and a discard Reflecting Pool and cast the Mana Crypt. Jeez. Should have been and, first. Uh, I am going first. to cast Ski. Air of Secrets. Oh. <laughs> That's like a rhystic study, but funner. And uh, pass the turn. Man, I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna go underground, see Mystic Remora. 
Dang, it was so much better last time. <laughs> I will pass. All right, hope for something cool. Drop turn. All right, I'm going to play a Scalding Tarn, and I'll crack it for Panic Island. Fish, huh? Cool and cast a Chromox and not be I'm going to draw, I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm not going to jerk that up again. So It's Exile. Uh, exile. So it'll tap for blue or uh, red. And then I'm going to cast my Commando Quark. And that's it. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have taken this hand. I should. I mean, I should have been first if I took this hand. Um, windswept Teeth. Uh, let's get a same land as last time. The White Green Savannah. And I'll play Deafening Silence. Are you going to pay for? Cannot. Fantastic. I'll pass the turn. Right. Draw. Go to combat. And I will attack um, Jason. For, and try to, oh, Mana finish. Crypt. My damage. <laughs> Jason, hit you for one. Draw a card. I'm going to pay for a Elven Library. Nice. Who needs and life totals? Pass the turn to Ben. Sorry, pass the turn to Jason. I'm going to untap. <laughs> Even better. Did you draw off? I'm sorry. Did, I mean, did you pay for Sylvan Library? <laughs> no. Okay, I'm going to draw. Untap. No, I'll let it die. Uh, draw for turn. Fountain is land for turn. I'm going to shock it in. Assuming... I'm going to go to instep and discard a hand size. Well, I mean, you can. What are you doing? I have two cards in hand. I have to discard Ancient Tomb and Razakath. Uh, passing. <laughs> Whatever. Oh. A route. <laughs> All right. What? Did you say that's one route? Is that what you said, John? All right. I'm going to play an Aired Mesa. Piece, baby. Rip it off. Rip it off. And I'm going to crack it for Steam Vents, and then I'll shock it in. <laughs> All right. I'm going to... You know what I'm going to do? Actually, I'm going to switch this up a little bit. I'm going to, for a tap of for red, I'm going to cast Gamble. I'm going to truly gamble. This is like the ultra gamble, gamble, gamble. Yeah. So gambling because it's great. gamble. Gamble because it's Kirk. It's, gamble because it's deafening silence. Well, and then gamble because I only have one other card in hand. No, I'm just kidding. Odds for the rest of the game are evens, copies, odds. I'm writing it down. I'm writing it down. Yeah. You guys are all trying to, you know, get shady. No, I was even. Break. What is the heck? Evens Kirk copy. doing his jankiness. I can't yeah, recast thanks, it. Well, Kirk did his damage. I'll go to attack phase and attack Carlos for sure. Two. Then I will pass the turn. All right. Draw a card. City of Brass. Deathrite Shaman. Yeah, I am done. End of your turn. Going to Worldly Tutor. Worldly Tutor's a book. It's your top of library. Is that Academy Rector to get humility? Uh, Academy Rector. <sighs> humility, huh? Yeah, Tap, pay eight, draw three. You're not even looking? Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Stripping. Ripping. In style. Yeah, absolutely. I almost regret playing blue red now. Before I take two, I need to find out if I'm taking three. <laughs> Safe. So yeah. It's a four. Shock my sacred fan. Let us go ahead and get this out and play uh, Carpet of Flowers. Way to go, Jason. I'm sorry, guys. Then... Go to combat and I will attack Jason. One. Okay. Boop. Add two white mana and two for Academy Rector. Pass the turn. Go. Uh, tap. Draw. I'm play a Verdant Catacombs, which I'm going to go ahead and crack. And I'm not going to get an island. Get a Swampy Plains. What are those? Scrublands? Yeah. Land. I'm like, it's the not Savannah. I'm going to cast. Mm -hmm. Loyal Retainers! Oh, dang. <clears throat> I activate this ability only during your turn before attackers are declared. So, in my first main phase, I'm going to activate Loyal Retainers! Wiggy, 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 wiggy. Return target legendary creature from my graveyard to the battlefield. Mother of pearl. He's, it's on tribal theme with my commander. Yeah, I'll pass the turn. All right. Let's see here. I was kind of expecting you to do more than that. Wow. Thanks, Ben. I appreciate that. <laughs> well, I was like, I was like holding stuff up, you know. Now I'm like, well, now do I just play this anyway? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna attempt to cast Cyclonic Rift. It's the best idea you've ever had. Wow, ben. way to get rid of the that death shaman. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna get rid of the deafening silence actually. 
What the worst idea you've ever had. <laughs> John, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta roll for it. Oh, yeah. Crark, Crark, he still has his say in this. Come business. on, Crark. All right. Actually, so, I don't know. Now it doesn't matter. Even copies. Here we go. Okay. Okay, great. So it does, it copies. I'm gonna get rid of, yeah, that one, and then, well, yeah, Razgath, for sure. Dang it. Yeah, that, I mean, yeah. <laughs> that wasn't too bad for two man, I suppose. You're welcome, everyone. Um, I drop. guess end of turn, I'm going to yep. Enlighten Tutor. All right. So it'll just go on top, and I won't okay, be so I'm good anything to go. else. Yeah. What are you going to get? I don't know, actually. So, yeah, don't do anything before I get okay, it. Okay, so, so then I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to wait then. Maybe you'll draw yeah. an amazing card that makes you go in the tank for a second. Well, yeah, oh, don't my show goodness. Me I, yeah, yeah. I can't believe it. I drew the exact card I needed to win. Carpet of Flowers on top. You put Carpet of Flowers on top, you said? Yep. All right. I'm going to go ahead and play Lamp Turn. I'm going to play Lava Glide Pathway. Very cool. I'm going to tap to play Rite of Flame. Here we go. Here we go. All right, so I'm going to start tracking Storm. So, all right. Come on, Odd. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Get out of here. I needed that. Pesky uh, little, hey. pesky little goblin freak. One, one storm uh, for one mana. Perfect. All right. All right. Let's. We're going to do that three more times. Woohoo. That is so freaking pesky, dude. Okay. I'll do it one more time. I love Kark, but I, I want to punch him in the face at the same time. Here we go. Come on, Odd. Yes. Dang it. Even, friends. So I will get two red mana plus two red mana. Four mana, and unfortunately, though, it goes to the graveyard, which is kind of sad, but here we are. All right, so I got four red. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tap for a blue, and I'm going to use three red and the blue, and I'm going to cast Takashima. Hopping. All right, All right, you have one I'm more gonna... mana, two more mana, two one more, red one. and a blue or red. I'm going to use my one mana, and I'm going to cast Gamble. I mean, sorry, um, these oh. triggers are on the stack, not the copy, but they're not yet copies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. The trigger is for the copy, so it's still fine. I'm yeah. going to cast Mental Mist out, paying two life. All right, so hold on. This goes up to three for my gamble, four for your Mental Mist step. I, I was saving step. it for a Carpet of Flowers, man, until John See, yeah, this is this is where this is where my inexperience kind of is going to bite you me. You Fluster Storm, if you can. Yeah. I'm going to play a Pyroblast. Oh. But maybe Best. they'll all be returned to your hand. It could be, yeah. yeah. The greatest counterspell in all magic. Power Blast is two triggers okay. on the stack. Here That's fine. All right, so we got a six and a three. So that means that it's going to copy it. So I'll, I'll, it's going to get copied once, and then this will end up returning to me. So mm -hmm. I will counter counter your misstep, and then it goes back to my hand. Mm -hmm. All right, and then Gamble's going to triggers are on the stack. Same thing. I'm just going to roll from both. If that's okay. Odds, odds, baby. Whoa! Dude. Oh, yeah! Amazing! That's the best! Oh, insane, and I was gonna freaking win oh, again. With know. that, um, that stuff's over. I'm gonna go to attack phase, and I'm gonna swing Prark at Jason. Two? <laughs> yeah, for two. Okay, with that, I'm done. Yeah. Wait, was it the actual crack or Sakashima that hit me? Uh, the actual, the actual Prark. And draw a card. Okay. Shock in a Turn temple three. garden. Carpet of Flowers is my first attempt there. Go to my second main phase. I'll get two white. I'll use two white and two other. Taking a damage, casting Linvala, Keeper of Silence. I'll exile one of your lands, Jason, for a okay. deafening silence. And that is my turn. There was an ancient tomb. Yeah. Crypt. Other damage. Well, damage. Mm, dos. That's uh, draw plus carpet. I will pay four and draw an extra. An extra. I'll go ahead and add um, two green of carpet. First main and play Guy's Cradle. Um, I'll yeah. use one of, of my carpet mana and a crypt. Attempt to cast food chain. I'm just going to cast my command curve. Uh, X equals three. three. What are you going to hit with that? It's going to be. Hold on. We're coming. Squeeze gonna go crazy and add infinite mana off of using food chain. At some point I'll sacrifice once I have infinite mana, I'll sacrifice Roko, put him back in the command zone, recast Roko, and get Grand Abolisher. Get Skyclave out of Oh. I, I need to get Skyclave to get rid of Linvala so that I can uh, uh, Kiki. Nice. 
We, we need to start hands with like three moxes, guys. What were we thinking? Well, the new Capenna commanders really showed up this game, and I think they could be some long-term players. Uh, great job, John, on this win. It's really interesting to see uh, new commanders following some traditional lines, but in their own way. What do you think? Do you think any of the new Capenna commanders will be around long-term, or are they more of just a flash in the pan? I'd love to hear down in the comments. I'd also love for you to smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, click the notification bell, and consider becoming a patron. A special thank you to our Samurai patrons, Chris Crowley, David Siraj, Dr. Birdseed, Jason Garner, John McManus, Jordan Ritchie, Morton Christensen, Revolution Gaming, and Worthy Glover. You really are the pillars of Kingdom. With that, thanks as always for watching and keep it nerdy.